G'day, everybody. You might be wondering why I called you all here. Uh, I had a look at the agenda, and I believe I am the first Tasmanian to actually stand up here and speak to anybody. So on behalf of Tasmania, I welcome you. Uh, if you uh, feel any bumps on the side of your neck as you are going about the place, don't worry, it's the air down here, and it'll clear up once you get back to the mainland. This, this is not the title that I chose for my presentation. I actually chose a different... Go back. A different topic. Well, no, a different title. It was changed to Help Desk Common Problems and sent back to me, and I thought, so that's what they think of us. Excellent. <laughs> but what we're going to be looking at today are some of the questions that come up again and again in the Squiz Help Desk. And most of these are fairly simple uh, but they're the sorts of things that sneak around to the back of your brain when you're working in Matrix and you just forget. So we're going to go over them. It's very practical. Hopefully it means that you won't have to call us up so often and say, what's wrong with my computer? Uh, and you can call up instead and say, everything's going great. Just thought I'd have a chat. <laughs> Apologies in advance. We are running on a tight time frame. Uh, I have managed to cut it down from four hours to three and a half, but we'll have to race through. What I'm going to do, though, at various points through the presentation is to ask for suggestions or answers to some of these common problems, uh, and there will be bribery involved if you get the right answer. Uh, I might... Uh, Tim, how athletic are you feeling? <clears throat> Would you like to be the delivery person? You can have a Fredo, too. All right. Okay, let's move on. Our first question that comes up fairly frequently. Why won't my asset listing display in the same order as the asset map? Has anybody wrestled with this one? Yeah, I heard some mutters and some waving of hands. Uh, this is what the problem is. I have created a single level asset listing. Um, it might be an image gallery. It might be a list of known issues. It might be a media releases. And no matter what I do, I can't get the asset listing to show up in the same order as it is in the asset map. I've tried all the different sorting and the grouping options and I just want them to show up how they are in the asset map. Here is my asset listing page and if you have a look over there, I've got the listing there. It's listing the stuff in that folder and I've got them in order, first, second, third, fourth. Not contrived at all, those names. However, when I preview the listing, what I get looks like this. Listing page, fourth, third, first, second. Can anybody tell me how to make sure that they show up in the order that they are over there? Yes? Excellent. He got it in one. Tim, your services are required. Over there. All right, very good. This comes up again and again, and often in support we forget what the answer is, and so we have to dig around. The answer is, on this page, set direct links to yes. Very easy. But what it means is that Matrix doesn't run a query and says, tell me everything that's under there and return it however you like. It says, okay, I just want everything that's in the asset map and return it to me in that order. And down here you need to make sure that the... Uh, what, did, what does that actually say there? Yes, you set it to standard. Whatever it's called. Oh, there it is. List format. Set it to standard. Very good. That was quick. That was a quick one. That's working. And then we see that it shows up first, second, third, fourth. Excellent. Number two. Why does Matrix keep logging me out? We have five Freddos at risk here. Here are some uh, some illustrations of the problem. I'm editing a page from the Matrix administration interface. When I try and preview the page, I'm asked to log in. Looks like this. Anybody seen that before? Uh, I'm navigating our organization's intranet. From time to time, I'll be asked to log in again. Looks like that. Fairly regularly, I appear to be logged out of Matrix and have to log in again. This happens to everyone in my department or area, 
and it happens when I'm using my 3D wireless dongle. I haven't got a picture for that one. But it looks the same as the last one. Uh, my asset map doesn't allow me to access the areas I should have access to. I see red crosses against the sites that I have read and write access to. And the last one, we have a number of internal sites accessed on different URLs. If someone follows a link to one of the other sites, they have to log in again. All right. Can anybody tell me any of the reasons why that might happen? Up the back, yes. Yes. Okay. I'm looking for a little bit more specificity. The URL? The URL we have from Tim. So if the URL changes, then it will ask you to log in again. Uh, it's cookie management. Cookie management. Because you are authenticated against a specific domain or subdomain. All right, very good. Um, you're a squeeze person. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, can you can you give a, a, a Fredo to our gentleman up back there sure. at the end of the table and one for this uh, squizzer in loose clothing? <laughs> He is correct. It is cookie management. Uh, I believe firmly that the best cookies are the decadent chocolate chip cookies with 40% chocolate chips. You can get them at Kmart and Big W, I think. However, uh, these are different cookies. These cookies are a piece of information that's shared between the browser and the server. They're set according to the site's base URL. Usually, this is something that we can change and we'll see that creates a session file on the server with your details. Um, and one of the good things about cookies is that it can make sure that uh, nobody can steal your session by recording the IP address that you're coming from. But this also can cause issues. What could possibly go wrong? Firstly, the page you're trying to preview if it's using a different site URL to the one your cookie's set to. So for example, I log in on www.mickey.com and then I try and preview a page that's on www oh, that's on mickey.com, for example. What's the problem there? The URL's different. The cookie is not going to work. Uh, Say, for example, you're directed to a page in your intranet that uses a different URL to the one that your cookie's set to. And this can happen if a, a, a remap has been added, or if there's just a, a part of the intranet that uses a different URL. If your network uses multiple outgoing proxies for redundancy and performance, very good idea. Big hand to the network admins who can figure out that spaghetti. But you're going to have more than one IP address when you get to Matrix. So the uh, session spoofing will lock you out. Uh, your Java configuration can use different proxy settings to your browser, which means that your Java asset map won't be uh, using the same IP address as your browser, and the cookie will not be working. And the other thing is that if you're using a wireless 3G network card, um, it has a dynamic IP address, and if you change towers, you'll get a different IP. How do we fix it? Matrix has uh, two different ways that it can address these issues, uh, and the 